Hey guys, it's Vibs here from SlideNerd. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can make animated vector drawables in Android. If you haven't seen the last two videos on vector drawables and the Mr. Vector library, please take a look at that because here we are going to basically continue with where we stopped in the previous two videos. Now, animated vector drawables are going to run only on Lollipop at the time of making this video. If you know a library that can run this on both Lollipop and Free Lollipop devices, be sure to let me know in the comments below. So let's get started. First, let's take a quick dive into the API. If you go and type animated vector drawable on Google, this is where you're going to be led. As you can immediately see, it says added in API level 21, which means this is not available on pre Lollipop at the time of making this video. If you go further down, there are three steps to make an animated vector drawable. First step is to define the vector drawable file itself. Now here, if you remember, we had the path element from our previous videos now to make sure that you want to rotate this path what you do is put that inside this group element and you give that group element a name called rotation group again we'll take a look at this in code so if you don't understand everything currently don't worry about it to go down further the second file that you define is the file which is going to control what animation you want to apply to what group of the vector drawable this file uses the animated vector tag and as you can see, there are several target elements within this animated vector tag. And what are they? Very simple. In the first case, we have a target which says Android name equals to rotation group. In other words, it simply means that pick this group from the vector drawable called rotation group and apply this animation called anim slash rotation on this group. You can specify several groups here and each group comes inside a single target element. And you can apply different animations to different groups with the help of this animated vector file. And the third file is obviously your object animator where you specify what property you want to animate. In our case, it's the rotation for how much time or how much milliseconds you want to animate. That is 6000 milliseconds or 6 seconds in our case from where to where. That is 0 degrees to 360 degrees. So once you specify the animator, that completes our full animation. Notice this object animator which takes two values the value from and value to it's basically converting one shape to another shape using the process called morphing now this is a tricky one to implement if you notice it says the path should have the exact same length of commands and the exact same length of parameters for each command now if this isn't the case then morphing is not going to work for you so if you're going to do morphing in your app make sure that you follow this route properly let's take a look at the current setup I have an activity called vector test if you go to its layout there is an image view whose background or source I have not set here in XML if you go to the activity part of it I have just initialized the image view and I have used the mr vector dot inflate method in the previous video to get our drawable which is r dot drawable dot vector underscore clock now I have also made a class called util where there are two static methods for now they simply tell me whether the current version is lollipop or greater or is the current version jelly bean or greater going back to the vector, vector test activity i have checked if the current version is jelly bean or greater i've called the set background method with that drawable otherwise i've called the set background drawable method which is deprecated with that same drawable to ensure that i don't get an error over here i have added the suppressed lint at the top here with the new api now let's take a look at this vector underscore clock that xml and see what it contains here, if you go to the drawable file, this is made according to the last video which we discussed. I simply took a circle image from SVG and simply added it over here. And it will be there on my GitHub forward slash slide nerd if you download the code from there. If you run the app currently on free Lollipop and Lollipop devices, this is what you currently see. What I plan to do is make an animated clock in this video that will work only on Lollipop with the animated vector drawable. Not even the Mr. Vector library at the time of making this video has support for animated vector drawables on both the devices. So let's get started with this. To make our simple clock, we need three things more inside the circle. One is going to be a small rectangle, a very thin one that's going to look like the hour hand. Second one is going to look like the minute hand and the third is basically a center. So at this point, if you put these three paths, what you see is something like this on both the pre lollipop and lollipop devices now what i want to do is something like this i want to take this purple one and rotate it from zero all the way to 360 degrees every 60 seconds that is our minute hand 
And then if you take a look at the smaller one, I want to rotate this from 0 to 360 degrees every 24 hours. And that's our, our and. So how can we do this with animated vector drawable? Let's take a look at that. The yellow one here rotates every 24 hours. And the purple one here rotates every 60 seconds. So simply make a group tag, put the path inside that group tag and give it a name, say rotate 60 seconds and rotate 24 hours. The next thing that we want to do is control the point where the rotation is going to take place. Now in our case, if we go to the top here, we'll find out that the width and height has been specified as 100 for everything. That means the center or the point around which the rotation should take place is the center of the clock which comes at 50 comma 50. So we can go down here and we can specify the pivot points for this rotation group by simply going here and saying Android pivot X is 50 and pivot Y is 50. Let's repeat this for the other group as well. Last but not the least to ensure that this looks proper on both pre lollipop and lollipop with the Mr. Vector library we have to replicate these attributes. So at this point I have duplicated the attributes perfectly so that they can work with our Mr. Vector library for both the groups that we have here. Our next step is to create our animated vector file. Go into the drawable folder, create the file called animated vector underscore clock. It has this root tag called animated vector. Now this is supported only on API level 21 and you will get an error saying so from lint. Hence I've used the XMLNS tools here and I've used the tools target APIs 21 to keep lint quiet. And if you go down, I have two target elements here. The target elements are the ones where we specify which group should support what animation. So in our case, we are saying that find the group whose name is rotate 24 hours. If you go to our vector clock.xml, there's our group which is rotate 24 hours. And we want to apply some animation to it. You can see there's an error. It says animation attribute should be defined. So here you can simply say Android animation attribute which is required. And there you specify anim slash whatever you want to do. So in my case, I've called it anim slash rotation. Now I'll need two rotation files. One is going to rotate every 24 hours, the other is going to rotate every 60 seconds. So I'm going to simply have the single file first and then I'll create the two files out there. So there's a target for both the groups, rotate 24 hours and rotate 60 seconds. You can also place this file inside the drawable v21 folder. In that case, you don't need this morning hiding stuff, sync tools, target API equals to 21. So now let's create the rotations for both the 24 hours and 60 seconds. For the next step, create the folder called anim. Inside that, place two XML files. Both of them are object animators. At the time of making this video, I have never talked about animations before and I will definitely spare that for a separate series. But for now, making an object animator is pretty simple. You specify the duration of the animation for 24 hours, that is 86,400 seconds, it becomes 86,400,000 milliseconds. For the property name that we want to change of the component is called rotation. You want to keep repeating it infinite number of times and you want to change every time from 0 to 360 degrees. The rotation will take place about the point which we defined inside our vector underscore clock dot xml which is our pivot x and pivot y. So the same way you make the rotate 60 seconds as well. Here the only thing that changes is the duration which becomes 60,000 milliseconds or 60 seconds. Now let's get to the next step where we can start the animation and take a look at things in action. For the final step here we want to go to the code of our vector test activity and start the animation process itself. And the way we do that is to first check whether the current version of the device is lollipop or greater. Since animated vector drawables don't work currently at the time of making this video, if the version is lollipop or more, I inflate the animated vector clock file. Now this is the same file which had the two targets specified inside it. So that's the file that you inflate over here. Otherwise, on all the pre lollipop devices, I inflate the simple vector drawable, which is vector underscore clock dot xml. Depending on the version, I have inflated the right file as I showed you above. And the next step, I have simply set that drawable as the background for our image view. Now, all we want to do is start the animation by checking this condition by saying if drawable is an instance of animatable, then start the animation by typecasting that drawable to an animatable. So you simply do that, you typecast it, the animatable object and you simply say start over here. And bam, there's our animated vector drawable that's running on lollipop and pre lollipop. And look at the magic here, ladies and gentlemen, there's our minute hand rotating from 0 to 360 the way we programmed it. 
and at the time as you can see in the pre lollipop devices we can at least see the vector drawable even though it's not getting animated i leave it up to you to find a better library that can do animated drawables on both lollipop and pre lollipop devices now i'm sure you're wondering whether this is working or not let's change the duration and see if both of them are working properly or not as a final experiment to show you both the hands working properly, I have changed the duration to 60,000 milliseconds for R24 hours and the other one goes at 20,000 milliseconds. Let's see how this works. So you simply go to the lollipop device and or the pre lollipop device, you can simply go there to the vector test activity and take a look at what happens inside our lollipop device. The minute hand is rotating at a much faster rate and there's our, our hand which is also rotating at a slower rate. In other words, we have made both of them rotate with a separate animation at separate speeds within the same vector drawable. If you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Nerd and let me know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.